Hi friends, thank you so much for coming back to craft with me today and welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today we're going to be making this fun little folder and it has some belly band pockets on the inside. So this is how mine turned out and I did do a big side pocket here on my cover as well. I added some flowers and I just have a journaling card and a little tag on the inside there. And when we open this up, here are the fun little belly band pockets. So they have three pockets each. And I just stuck a few different things in there, like a journaling card. You could put some tea bags inside and then just another smaller card as well. So that's kind of what they look like. And I added some stickers here and there. And then over here, I have just a little sticky note. In this pocket, I stuck some stickers. I even put just like a gift card in there, a little tag. And then I think this is another journaling card up top. So just some different ideas of things that you could put inside of these smaller pockets. And then of course, these are belly bands, so you can put things underneath like journaling cards or photos and then over here i just have another little journaling card or even a smaller photo would be so cute in there so this is kind of what it looks like empty and my pockets are a little uneven but i'm going to show you how to make them look a bit more uniform so that's our little folder or folio that we're going to be making today so go ahead and grab some paper and we can create one of these together. By the way, the paper that I used for that one and for this one that I'm gonna do today is from the Paper Boutique Lovely Days Paper Pad. And I got this from Oriental Trading. So let's just start off with the base. Super easy and simple. This here is just a plain piece of cardstock that's 10 inches wide by 8 inches tall and we're just going to fold it in half at the 10 inch side or you can score yours right down the middle at 5 and then I'll just fold this right in half And then what we're gonna do is we're going to just cover up the front and back covers. So I'm going to grab two sheets here. They are four and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So they're both the same and I'm just gonna glue them to my covers. And I like doing this where you have that border around the pattern paper. But that's what it's going to look like. And let me glue this one onto the back. Right. so you can obviously do whatever you want with your cover you could even just glue a 4x6 photo right on top as your decorative cover but I'm going to just add a little side pocket again and mine is just two and a quarter by seven and three quarters but you can really choose any width that you want for that pocket if you want to do a side pocket and simply just going to glue three sides down here. And 
All right, so we're just going to let this dry and set this aside. And we're going to work on the belly band pockets now. I am just going to grab two sheets or two little strips here of three by eight. And I'm just using plain cardstock again because it's mostly going to be covered up. So you want two of those. I'm just going to take one for now. And I'm going to hold it at the eight inch side here. And I'm just going to score at two and a half and five. Whoops, <laughs> two and a half and five. And that's really only because I'm going to be popping my line of glue along those score lines and then at the bottom here. So this bigger section is going to be at the top. So I'm just going to hold it this way now and I'm going to grab some little scrap papers. So for the belly band pockets, I just used four by three little sheets here and you're going to need six of them, but I'm just going to grab three for now. And kind of just see where I want them to go. So my top pocket here basically the bottom of it is going to go right on the edge of this score line that we made and then the next pocket down the bottom of it is going to line up with this score line like so and then the bottom pocket will just go right at the bottom so that's kind of why i made those score marks so what i'm going to do now is pop my glue right along the score lines. So we have that one, this one, and then just one at the very bottom. All right, and then I'm gonna start with my top pocket and we're just gonna place this one on first, right over the glue. And when you do this, you can see you'll have some edges poking out here. That's what you want. The next pocket, I will put the bottom of it on top of that glue line. And then my last pocket here, just put at the very bottom. So those are going to be the three pockets on our belly band. Now what we're going to do is just flip this over to the back and you could just simply fold your paper over the edge here, but I'm just going to make a little score line and that'll help, help me fold the tabs over a bit easier. So there's no measurement here, just kind of line it up at a notch where you can score. And I just score all the way down along the edge of the tabs there. Same thing on this side. And then I can just fold over the tabs here. And I'm going to glue them down as I go. And the next set of tabs. Fold those over. And then my last tabs here. All right. So once you have those, this part you're not even going to see, but this is what your pockets are going to look like on the front.
And I guess if you wanted to do a notch on your pockets, you could have done that before, but I just leave these as they are. And that's our little belly band. And we're gonna do that just one more time. Same exact process. All right, so there's my next belly band. So now my pockets are looking a bit more uniform. So after that, we can just glue them right into our folder. So let's bring that back. I'm gonna remove my scoreboard. I think we're done with that. And we'll just open up our folder here. Now, if you wanna cover up the backgrounds of the insides, you can do that as well. It would be the same exact size as the front and back cover. So this size here, if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna glue my belly bands down. So I'm gonna turn them over. And of course, just pop some glue at the top and at the bottom. And I will just center it on each of my pages. And same thing with this one. All right, and that's going to complete the folder. So let me just do a little bit more decorating and fill up the pockets here. So I'm just gonna grab a few different little journaling cards, bloom where you're planted, and I'm gonna stick those in here. And I'm just going to take some stickers here. These are just from Dollar Tree. And kind of just decorate my cover a little bit more with that. Though I love the butterflies, so definitely want to keep some of those showing. And for now, I think that's all I'm going to do. Super simple, right? So here we are on the inside and I'm going to take a four by six journaling card and just stick that underneath. So you could even put four by six photos and stick them under here. And I have this bigger journaling card I made. And we'll stick that in too. Or even if you want to do like a photo mat, I think this one here is four and a half by six and a half. So you could make a photo mat and then put some photos over top. And then for my little pockets here, I'm just gonna borrow a few things from my other folio. Well, I'm gonna take some tea bags here, just pop them in. I mean, you could fill this whole thing with tea bags if you wanted. I'll take back my little journaling card, stick up top, and this one too. I guess this one is a bit tall, so that's going to be poking out a bit, but that's okay. 
And then I'm going to just take some stickers again, pop those in. And if you have three by four journaling cards or something like that, they will fit. It will be, well, I was going to say it'll be a tight fit, but this is exactly three inches across. So it might be like a, a perfect fit. <laughs> so that one's three by four. So that fits nicely. But again, you can put tags, gift cards, you know, you could just fill this whole thing with gift cards. How fun would that be to receive? And then really the only decorating I do for the inside would probably be for these pockets. But let's see. I like how this one says hello. And then over here, maybe I will put... I don't know, one of these stickers. <laughs> Maybe that one. And that one. And I think that's where I'm going to complete my little folio here. I just think these smaller pockets are so cute, but then you can stick bigger things behind them underneath the belly band. So I think it's a really cute little happy mail folder. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial as well. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun and inspiration. And leave me a comment down below and come say hi. I'll see you all very soon in my next video. So happy crafting and huge hugs to all of you.